Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Danica. I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark Canada and Poshmark US. Um, also on eBay sometimes. And today's video is my weekly what's sold video. So today's sales or today's video are going to be sales from April 12th to April 18th, 2021. Um, I will not be able to add screenshots to today's video. I just super last minute found out I need to go run an errand um, basically as soon as I'm done like filming this um, and I won't be back until a little bit later so sorry but as usual if you do want to see what the item is you can always just go to my closet and look at the soles everything is there. Um, I usually, I know if I skip a week putting screenshots, I get DMs, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry, I just can't do it today, um, but this is at least, you know, I'm able to tell you what's sold. Um, so this week was pretty good, it was super slow on Monday as usual, um, picked up during the week, I sent offers and the... I sent really low offers, so maybe I'll skip the items that I sold for like less than $10 of profit because um, that doesn't really help anyone. Um, and then again, last minute, I was asked by a friend to watch their dog over overnight um, Saturday and last night. Um, so that kind of... <laughs> Put a damper on the amount of work I was gonna do over the weekend. I was gonna do some photographing, but um, I was keeping the dog out of my guest room. So, like, if I was in that room, he would have wanted to be in there with me. And the dog is not um, housebroken, so I just like didn't want there to be any accidents in there. <laughs> Obviously. Um. So anyway. Still had a fun weekend playing with the dog and if you follow me on Instagram you saw a bunch of videos and photos of him. He's so cute. He's a Bernadoodle. Um, anyway, so let's get into it. Before we go any further, make sure you are subscribed to my channel and give me a thumbs up before you go. Okay, so Monday, like I said, super slow. I had one sale. Um, it was a free people dress um it's just like that tunic dress basically that everyone has oh wait that's the week before i'm a little low on sleep right now okay so monday april 12th still had one sale it was a pair of fabletics leggings they were teal i got those at the bins for 75 cents i made five dollars and 25 cents of profit i was happy with that they sat since february and they sold on poshmark us on Tuesday, I made five sales. First one being a pair of cut from the cloth jeans. They were on um, a size 14. They were retail arbitrage. I got them forever ago. Um, I paid $13. I made a profit of $34.40, so I was okay with that, but they were like, they sat for over a year. <sighs> Whoops. Um, next sale on Tuesday was an Aritzia community cardigan. Um, it was nothing special. It was really just like a knit short sleeve open cardigan. I got it at the bins for a dollar. I profited $9.85. Happy with that. And then the next three sales on Tuesday were reseller bundles. Um, so two 10 item bundles and a five item bundle. On Wednesday, I made two sales, first one being a Britney Spears graphic shirt. I was so sad to see this go, but I'm pretty sure it was a full price sale, I think, because I don't remember sending offers on this shirt because I wanted to keep it so bad. Um, but I profited $22.23, so it's hard to be mad at that. Next sale on Wednesday was a pair of, um, a bundle of two pairs of cutoffs. Um, I know there was a pair of Wrangler and I think she got a pair of Levi's cutoffs. I actually went to the bins today and got a few more um, pairs of jeans to turn into cutoffs. So um, 
I'm excited. I've been like making cutoffs like crazy. I'm just so excited for summer and I just feel like everyone needs like a pair of good distressed cutoffs. Um, so, so yeah. Um, on, oh, so she actually sent me a comment, it was on Poshmark US, and she said, hey, I'm interested in, I had them priced at $50 each, and she commented, hey, I was wondering if I could get two pairs for $70, and I said, absolutely, I got these jeans, jeans at the bin, so my cost was $2, I profited seven, or I profited $68 after the exchange rate and everything. Um, so I was really happy with that. On a Thursday, I made five sales again, um, first one being a Donna Danyan, I don't know if that's how you say it, dress. I got this in a B&G trading box in September. Um, my cost was $7.90 and I've been trying to basically liquidate that inventory. Um, I'm just not in love with it. I mean, uh, my thoughts on B&G trading are it was an option for me when the lockdowns first happened. It was a way of getting inventory. Um, is it my preferred way of sourcing? No. With duties and shipping, the cost of goods is kind of crazy. I mean, comparable to thrifting, my cost was $7.90, so I could easily spend that at a thrift store. But um, spending that much money and then not even being able to pick what you are receiving, would I order again? Maybe, but anyway, my profit was $3.95. Someone sent me an offer and I accepted. Next sale on Thursday was a pair of Levi's cutoffs. Um, I paid a dollar because I get all my jeans for cutoffs at the bins. Um, I just make sure, basically I will grab any brand, Kirkland, George, whatever, make sure they're 100% cotton and then cut them into shorts. I do not care what condition they're in. I've even sold cutoffs that were like all like weird, like distressed already but like the crotch had rips in it and they still sold so anyway um, my profit was $26.65 which is great and my last three sales on Thursday were three more reseller bundles first one being a 10 piece bundle and a mug that she had asked me to put aside for her um, then a 15 piece bundle um, that one that was um, a big one. It went over the limit for weight for Poshmark, but I just sent it anyway. <laughs> I upgraded the label as heavy as you can get it, and it was still over just by like a pound, but anyway. And then another 10 item bundle. On Friday, I made seven sales. So the first one was a vintage denim like bomber jacket I got at the bins, profited $15.36. Next sale was just an Aritzia blue tank top, profited $5. Next was a Billabong um, peach floral pattern dress. I got that at the bins and profited $5.25. Next was a Fila bla uh, blue long sleeve graphic t-shirt. I got at the bins, profited $5.25. Next was a pair of Aritzia joggers. They were just like rust colored um, sweat joggers. But I noticed a flaw when I got home, so I didn't sell them for as much as I wanted. I still profited $7.43, which is okay. Next was an Aritzia um, Chambray crop tank top. I paid $5.57, profited $19.43 uh, on that, which is great. And my last sale on Friday was a vintage Clio, like salmon colored maxi tank dress. Um, loved it. I got that at the bins in this month, um, so I paid a dollar and profited eleven forty one. It was a really quick sale, actually, so I was happy with that. Saturday, I made four sales. I made uh, the first sale was a pair of Mountain Equipment Co-op tearaway pants. I had them listed at fifty, I think. Someone offered me twenty, and I was like, okay. I got them at the bins, so I don't really care. Um, profited fourteen dollars and eighty cents, which is awesome. Next sale was this, uh, it was a coach black canvas, like just their usual little shoulder bag. Um, it had a ton of wear on it, like the canvas was shredding in, in places. 
Um, so I think I priced it at like 30, someone offered me 25 and I took it, profited $18.75. My next sale was just a like no name men's tie that just had like cycling graphic on it. Um, I made a dollar 46 cents on it, nothing crazy. And my last sale on Saturday was a pair of Topshop mom jeans. They were super light wash. They had a ton of like flaws on, like just stains and discolorations. Um, so I only made a dollar forty, but whatever, I didn't really care. And on a Sunday, yesterday I made seven sales. Um, so the first one was a Levi's chambray, like men's um, snap button shirt, short sleeve. Um, I got that at the bins, profited $6.25. Next was a Tahari Co. I had this listed forever. Got it in November. I paid a dollar for it. I sent an offer for $10. Someone accepted. So I made $7 all over on Poshmark US. Or no, sorry, profited $6. I was just like, it got so much attention on both platforms and just like no one wanted to pay for it. So I think I had it listed for like 60 and sent an offer for $10. I did not care. Um, my next sale was just a sports bra, um, the brand is Coyotin or something like that, um, paid a dollar, again profited six dollars on Poshmark US. Next sale was an Old Navy tropical dress, it had like a crisscross on the back, it was super cute. Um, I love selling Old Navy, and it's always like a pretty quick flip for me if you price it right. I paid a dollar for it at the bins in March, made six dollars on Poshmark US. Next sale was a pair of black high-waisted cutoffs. Again, this brand was called Navy, I think. It's like a no-name brand. I paid a dollar for them and I profited 36. Next sale yesterday was a Lululemon sports bra. I think it's called a Sweat Time sports bra, but it had like um, red rose pattern on the front. Um, I paid $7.15 and profited $36.30. And my last sale of the week was a pair of Citizens of Humanity Rocket jeans. Um, they were high-rise skinny jean, paid $7.15 and profited at $37.30. And $37.30. Um, so all in all, it was, you know, I mean, considering I had a lot of really low profit sales, um, but I mean, I still profited $600 this week, so that's not bad. I'll take that. Um, my goal this month is to hit $3,000 of profit and I'm on pace to hit that. So time to, now that the puppy is gone, I have some stuff that I had photographed, I haven't listed. So at least I have that tonight that I can work on. Um, and then tomorrow I can like hit the ground running and start photographing some more stuff and listing. So, um, if you want a reseller bundle, shoot me a DM on Instagram. I did, like I said, went to the bins again today, grabbed some stuff for at least one box. One person reached out to me and asked for one. So I'm going to get that stuff washed and then DM her back and be like, hey, um, your box is ready. And yeah, so, and like my reseller bundles. I sold them in BC and I mean I didn't want to anyone can buy them but they are like kind of for the people in Ontario who are in lockdown and cannot cannot source right now um, and I usually try to do a mix of higher end like premium Aritzia Urban Outfitters brands and with a mix of like bread and butter Old Navy Gap even some Joe Fresh I will only add I had someone say they were surprised to get Old Navy, but I will add it if I think the style is there and it's like the season. So if it's a super cute Old Navy dress, I will absolutely put it in the box. If it's some, I will not put anything in reseller bundle. I would not personally like um, source for myself. So if you take a look at my closet, you'll have a pretty good idea and Honest, it's funny too because I saw a meme on Instagram being like do not buy reseller bundles like you're just getting someone's old stuff and I want to make it super clear <laughs> that 
I do not put anything in these boxes that I have listed in my closet ever. Like I source specifically for these boxes. So you're not getting something that has sat in my closet for two years and then I'm pulling and being like, well, I can't sell it. So maybe they'll have better luck. This is all like freshly sourced for the boxes. Um, so, and people are like, well, couldn't you just sell it yourself? Yep, I absolutely could. But um, I just thought it would be a nice thing to do for people who can't source right now. So that's what I'm doing. Um, and so, yeah, if you're interested, shoot me a DM. I don't always have, like I said, it's not stuff that I have listed myself that I pull and put into boxes. I source specifically for the boxes. So if you want one, um, just let me know. And then once I have enough interest to make like two or three, then I'll go to the bins and source for that. Um, so yeah. Uh, maybe I'll make another little Instagram reel showing like myself building another box so you get a good idea of what's in there um, just if you're on the fence. So yeah, anyway, those are all my sales for the week. And on that note, I have to go. I have to go. <laughs> so let me know in the comments how your sales were and um, hopefully this week is amazing. Let's make it amazing. All right. See ya!